Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're in the Cabarrus County Public Library, the Concord Branch. Oh man, there's all kinds of great changes here. We're going to show you all about that. Going to tell you a lot of other information. There's a ton of stuff going on in Cabarrus yeah, yeah. County this week. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot that contact info down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, we are at the newly renovated Cabarrus County Public Library um, right here in downtown Concord. And even though the um, exterior space has not expanded at all, right. it looks like oh, a completely brand new library. Um, completely changed uh, the interior of this library, both the first floor and the second floor. Um, there's a larger space for the children's room, which we're standing in now, um, with an enhanced area for children's programming. Um, just really have utilized this space a lot better. Um, the local history room has now moved. Um, it's downstairs and um, in a larger space, which also is allowing for longer visiting hours there. There is a redesigned public conference room which is a wonderful space for community groups to um, reserve that space for meetings. There is a larger circulation desk and now um, everyone checks out their books at one location on the first floor at that larger circulation desk. <clears throat> there is new furniture, um, new carpet, just a brighter, fresher feel throughout the entire library. Um, improved functionality in every room with spaces for each category of library users, from the children to the teens uh, to the adults, um, and even um, those doing research, those coming for leisure reading. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful um, redesign, plus improved wheelchair access. Um, while you're visiting um, the Concord Branch Library or any of the four branches of the Cabarrus County Public Library uh, system, now also is the time to sign up for the summer reading program. Um, many, many children have already come through to sign up for the children's reading program. Of course, there's a reading program designed just for teenagers as well and one for adults too. So no yep. matter how old you are, you can read your way through the summer and earn some really great prizes along the way. Prizes, more prizes, <laughs> there you go. For more information about um, any of the libraries with the Cabarrus County Public Library System, you can log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library or to visit um, the Concord branch and kind of check out this new renovation. Um, just come drop by and visit the libraries located at 27 Union Street in downtown Concord. And for more information, you can call the library at 704-920-2050. There's a lot of new things going on right now because if you haven't heard, Concord and Kannapolis are going to be uh, changing the recycling mm. going on. So uh, beginning Friday, July the 1st, the city of Kannapolis is launching its own curbside recycling. That's going to pick up every other week. And on July the 5th, the city of Concord begins its new rollout recycling collection service. Now, the Concord and Kannapolis residents will start seeing these new green Waste Pro trucks that are operated by one person driving down the streets. Now, while garbage will still be collected every week on the same day as it is now, recycling will be collected every other week. Now, weekly collection of yard waste continues that without any changes there. Now, more recycling materials are going to be accepted, so that's great news. You have empty aerosol cans now, no spray cans though. Now, all plastics, numbers one through seven, including wide mouth plastic containers. I know that's that's something that I always end up throwing away, so that'll be great. You can recycle that. I am so excited about the plastics one through seven because I'm always looking at the bottom of the right. container saying, oh no, <laughs> you know, this is a three or a four. I can't recycle it. So I'm so excited yeah. that all plastics. That'll be cool. Now, and milk in juice cartons and juice boxes also. Now, shredded paper in a clear bag. Now, to find out uh, about the City of Concord recycling schedule or to view a complete list of the recycling items, just visit www.concordnc.gov. For more information about the City of Kannapolis recycling program, just go to the cityofkannapolis.com slash recycling, or you can just call the Public Works Department at 704-920-4200. Those are kind of cool looking trucks too. They all kind of, you can still watch them just mm, 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 lifting up and all that kind of stuff. I'm entertained easily, but anyway, it's so fun. Well, Stories Under the Stars is uh, coming back for another performance. Love the Stories of the Stars uh, at the Kanathlis Branch Cabarrus County Public Library. Um, it's going to be on Saturday, June 25th, featuring master storyteller David Novak. Now, this is a free 
family event. Um, all ages can come out and enjoy. Now, um, storyteller David Novak is a seasoned storyteller with a background in theater arts, including Shakespeare, clowning, creative dramatics, playwriting, and directing. Um, he is a veteran of the National Storyteller F uh, Festival and has performed at numerous theaters and festivals. So he is a pro and he's got some sounds like great it. tales um, to share. So just bring your blankets or chairs. Um, come on out uh, to the patio area outside the library there. Um, you might want to bring something cool to drink, but free popcorn free will popcorn. be provided by the gym yeah. theater. Uh, so just come on out and be ready just to be totally entertained. More information about the stories under the stars on Saturday, June 25th at 7 p.m. Kannapolis branch of Cabarrus County Public Library. Just call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Now, do you love Italian food? I, I love, love Italian food. I do, but I, I'm afraid to sample it too often. <laughs> yeah, I know. You kind of feel guilty because, you know, you'd love to have some maybe healthier options mm -hmm. of Italian food. Well, then join Gina Gutfrey of Voce Felice. No, that's not right. Boca Felice. That's it. <laughs> I can't speak Italian, but I love to eat it. Okay, <laughs> now for an Italian cooking class on Thursday, June the 30th, forgive me, Gina, uh, at Kannapolis Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library, and she'll give you tips and techniques on healthier ways of preparing those Italian mm. dishes. Now, the program is sponsored by the Kannapolis Friends of the Library, and they'll leave you inspired to try out new recipes and, uh, you know, just on your own. Now, bring your appetite because Gina makes some really good food. <laughs> Enjoy Gina for a tasty night of fun and information. For more information about Italian cooking class on Thursday, June 30th at 5 p.m. at the Kannapolis Public Library. And that's 850 Mountain Street. Just call or just call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. And I tell you what, Gina does great food, but her presentation is absolutely the best. <laughs> She does a great job. Well, uh, there are only a few Thursdays left to enjoy a little music with your lunch if you're in the Kannapolis area. Um, the Thursdays on Main will have just uh, two weeks left for their Thursday lunch performances. So you can kind of break up your morning lunch routine um, with a musical concert by coming out on Thursday, June 23rd. The free performance is held from 11.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. at Veterans Park. That's at the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Avenue in downtown Kannapolis and this week is going to feature the band Sound Barrier playing classic rock and pop from the 60s through today. So either pack your own lunch or you can purchase food from a variety of the Kannapolis restaurants showcased at the event. Um, parking is available downtown and around the North Carolina Research Campus. For more information about Thursdays on Main in downtown Kannapolis, just call the city office at 704-920-4343 or visit cityofkannapolis.com. I mean, what uh, famous quote, what movie is this from? Okay. okay. You're going to need a bigger boat. How about Jaws? Ah, <laughs> great, that's a great scene. Great scene. That's, that's, the scene is he's just leaning over the boat and Jaws puts his yeah. head up and then, then that's when he turns to the skipper and says, I think you're going to need a bigger boat. Now, if you guess Jaws, then, of course, you win a prize. You know what prize you win? Yeah. You can see Jaws for free. Okay, there you go. Uh, movies at the park at the Village Park in Kannapolis on Friday, June the 24th. And, uh, you know, you're, you're lucky because... You're on land and Jaws is on the screen, so you know. So while watching that film, so if you're not old enough to remember, just to kind of give you, this is Jaws's uh, rather large white, great white mm -hmm. shark, and uh, he just like takes over this whole town and everybody's going crazy. And you got a lot of people. You got uh, the town's uh, police chief. He like gets with a marine biologist and a skipper of this boat and they go out and try to find it. It's an amazing adventure and talking about sitting on the edge of your seat. You're on the edge of your seat during this. And don't plan your beach trip right after this, okay? <laughs> so for more information about Jaws showing at movies in the park on Friday, June 24th at 845 at Village Park. That's located at A and C Streets and North Loop Road in Kannapolis. Just call 704-920-4343 or visit cityofkannapolis.com. Well, dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. <laughs> if um, oh, I did the wrong music, didn't yeah. I? What music was that for? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. I fixed I it. That's to... okay. 
I need to sing. You can speak Italian. I can do music themes. Okay, here I we was, go. um, you know, way too small when that movie came out, so I don't really recall that. But um, <laughs> I've heard of it, though. you heard of it. Okay. <laughs> well, if, I graduated from college that year, but anyway, okay. If uh, sharks are maybe a little too intense for you, maybe uh, butterflies are more your speed. I'd like to spend some time out with the butterflies and... Um, Come on out to Franklin's Park on Saturday, June 25th um, for the Fun with Butterflies workshop. Um, here's some really cool facts about butterflies, mm -hmm. all right? Most butterflies can fly, all right, hold on, between 5 to 12 miles per hour. Really? That's actually not pretty bad for something that small, right? Um, I wouldn't think they were that fast. <laughs> they, they taste with their feet. It's one of the ways <laughs> they taste that with butterflies, their feet? yeah, it's one of the ways that they um, can tell what plants they need to um lay their eggs on huh. and then um, they have taste sensors on their feet and so by standing on a leaf they can taste to see if um there are caterpillars that might eat them ah. so um you will learn all these facts plus many more at franklin's parks fun with butterflies workshop it's a free workshop on saturday june 25th and you also find out which flowers attract butterflies what butterflies eat and you can learn about their role in nature. The workshop is free and open to all ages. Pre-registration is needed by Thursday, June 23rd. Just register online at the Fun with Butterflies workshop at kabeerscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type the word butterflies in the class search box. For more information on Fun with Butterflies, held June 25th at 10 a.m. in Franklin's Park, just call the park at 704-920-2702 or visit kabeerscounty.us slash parks. Taste with your feet, huh? No. Well, I've learned something you new today. You wish you could do that. Don't you? <laughs> yes, really. I don't know. Sometimes I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> now, enjoy a night of arts when the Cabarrus Arts Council sponsors the Art Walk and a film showing on Friday, June the 24th, and that's in downtown Concord. Now, the Art Walk takes place from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. throughout the downtown Concord and will include visual art displays and also live entertainment. Now, afterwards, catch the documentary film Being Diablo mm. at the Davis Theater, and that's at 9 p.m. The free screening is part of the Modern Film Fest at the Davis, Theaters, uh, Davis Theater, and it's sponsored by the Cabarrus Arts Council and the Modern Film Fest. Now, the independent film chronicles, chronicles um, Mickey McCaffrey's life from Asheville as he's kind of like uh, questing to kind of see what the meaning of life is. It's uh, not been rating, but uh, what you want to do is you want to do a little research on it. They think it might be like a PG-13, but uh, definitely check it out before you bring the family. So for more information on the film, showing of Being Diablo on Friday, June the 24th at 9 p.m. at Davis Theater. And that's located at 65 Union Street South in Concord. Just call 704-920-2787 or visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.org. Well, there are just a few chances left to come out and enjoy kind of a fun and modern twist on the classic Shakespeare play, Comedy of Errors. That is presented by the Old Courthouse Theater's Youth Summer Youth Production. Um, it's now through June 26. Tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for children ages 12 and under. For more information on the Comedy of Errors at the Old Courthouse Theater, presented by the Summer Youth production um, just call the theater at 704-788-2405 um, the theater is located at 49 spring street in downtown concord you also can visit for more information old courthouse theater.org now the Cabarrus county senior center they, they put on a lot of great programs they have all kinds of great classes and everything yes. well this one i think is one of their best yes. it's the Cabarrus county uh, senior and it is called uh, it's a three-day event and it's called the powerful tools for caregivers and that's on tuesday june 28th through Thursday, June the 30th. Now, this free caregiver camp is designed for those caring for, um, you know, loved ones from the age 60 and older. They're either at home or in a nursing home um, in, across the country here. The camp is coordinated by the Cabarrus County Senior Centers through the Family Caregiver Support Program. Now, caregivers learn how to reduce stress, communicate efficiently and effectively with other family members, doctors, paid help. Also, it kind of reduce those feelings of sometimes of like guilt and anger and depression because you're in through all those mm -hmm. things because of all the time and energy you're putting in with your loved ones. But then, you know, your life is affected in a lot of different ways. 
So it's a great way to help you to set goals and to problem solve. Mm -hmm. And it's also an opportunity to learn about all the resources because mm -hmm. there are a lot that are available for, to help you through these periods and support uh, available to them. Now the camp is free and lunch is provided daily. Registration is required on Friday, June the 24th by 5 p.m. For more information on powerful tools for caregivers mm -hmm. on Tuesday, June 28th through Thursday, June 30th from 10 a.m. until 3.30 p.m., just call 704-920-3484 or uh, the Cabarrus County, for other Cabarrus County senior events, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash aging. Well, it is definitely a season where a lot of folks are beginning to think about travel and uh, mm -hmm. maybe you have summer travel plans or um, you're thinking uh, maybe um, a great destination for a few months or a year from now. Well, if you want a little bit of help with um, planning your um, travel, you might want to um, hook up with this great workshop with um, Heather Albatron. Alberton, who is a destination specialist. She's going to be at the Harrisburg branch at the Cabarrus County Public Library on Wednesday, June 29th for a workshop called Family Experiences in Travel. You can learn some fun and informative facts about many exciting travel destinations um, for families. Now, whether you're taking your children your or your grandkids or um, traveling with adults, um, Heather will show you how much fun you can have planning a vacation of a lifetime. For more information on the free talk Family Experiences in Travel on Wednesday, June 29th at 10 a.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus County Park uh, Library. Just call the library at 704-920-2080 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. At first, when you said you were taking a vacation for a month, I was like, hey, that really does sound good. Okay, <laughs> hey, maybe you could. <laughs> That's right. That'd be nice. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, we can all agree that there's plenty of outdoor activities to enjoy in North Cabarrus <laughs> Park and Concord. And uh, once you kind of stroll through the nature trails, you know, that may, which are really beautiful, oh, yeah. you can learn a little bit more about the park's vernal ponds and how they play a huge role in the ecosystem and the environment at Swamp Loggers. Mm. We're going, be, we're going to be swamp logging here. Okay, workshop. That's on Saturday, June the 25th. Now, a pond is a temporary pool of water. Despite being dry at times, kind of once it's filled, they're teeming with life. Rangers look at these little ponds in the park, and they teach you about the plant and the animal life that kind of rely on these little ponds mm -hmm. that kind of come and go for survival. So when they go, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I was just, <laughs> no, the event is free and open to those ages five and up. Pre-registration is needed for Thursday, June the 23rd. Register online for Swamp Loggers at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word swamp in the class search box. For more information on Swamp Loggers held on Saturday, June 25th from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. North Cabarrus Park. That's at 760 Orphanage Road in Kannapolis. Just call 704-795-4492 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Kind of reminds me, you know. Butterflies, you know, they only live, you know, just a few months. Mm -hmm. and these guys just live while the water's in the little pond, little mud Let's hole. <laughs> so you really enjoy life. There <laughs> you it's go. Really, it could be very short. There right? you go. Well, um, really cool thing as, as kids are reading through the summer, of course, you not only want them just to be reading, but um, really to maybe think about what they're reading and, and to really learn more about um, the books. Well, um, there are some book clubs available for children in Cabarrus County um, Public Library. The Concord Branch here is hosting a book club this summer for third and fourth graders um, and their next meeting is going to be on Tuesday, June 28th. Now, this month's book is The World According to Kaylee by Dion Curtis Reagan. You can register your child for the book club in person or at um, the Concord Library's Children's Reference Desk, which is right behind us there here. Um, and they will be meeting throughout the summer. So even if you can't make it for this book club, you can go ahead and sign up and uh, kind of help your child um, get better reading comprehension skills right. as well. For more information about the third and fourth grade book club, that's a meeting on Tuesday, June 28th at 3 p.m. at the Concord Branch at Cabarrus County Public Library. Just call the library at 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. No, Independence Day is just right around the corner. It's you amazing, that? I can't believe it. That's unbelievable. <laughs> July is just almost here. Well, the town of Mount Pleasant celebrates Independence Day on Thursday, June 23rd through Saturday, June 25th. I always thought it'd be great to have a birthday that lasted like a week, <laughs> you know, and Independence Day in Mount Pleasant is really cool. It's a 
great event. Now the fun starts on Thursday evening with the Miss Mount Pleasant Independence Day pageant, and that's going to be at the Mount Pleasant Middle School, and that's from 6.30 p.m. till 9 p.m. Then on Friday evening from 6 to 10, enjoy rides, music behind the town hall. That's located at 8590 Park Drive. And Friday's music selection includes, this is great, bluegrass, gospel, and alternative rock. Oh, folk, excuse me. Now on Saturday, June the 25th, Ta-da! The annual parade happens. And that begins at 10 a.m. at Mount Pleasant Middle School and runs right down Main Street. Now, the Eastern Cabarrus Historic Society Museum is going to feature an encampment mm -hmm. and also historical exhibits and food from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. on Saturday. Rides and amusement will continue all day, and that's behind Town Hall. And the Sound Barrier and Too Much Sylvia, both great bands, will provide music beginning at 6 p.m. on Saturday. And then fireworks, ba-boom, start at 10 p.m. <laughs> Now, for more information about the Mount Pleasant Independence Day celebration beginning Thursday, June the 23rd, just visit townofmountpleasantnc.org. All right. Tons of things going on in Cabarrus County this week. I love the summertime. There's so many, oh, so so much many stuff going things on. going on. And if you like music, this is the place to this be. This is the so place. Many we got concerts. the arts. We got the music. <laughs> we got the films. Well, if you missed anything that we talked about on today's show, you can always go to our website at CabarrusCounty.us. Um, click on the search box at the top right of any page. Um, type in your search term. You'll get um, up to the minute information on any of those things. But if you still are looking for a little bit extra, you can always um, shoot us an email at channel22 at cabarrusguy.us. Of course, one of the best ways to get all the information we talk about on Cabarrus this week is to sign up for our newsletter. If you haven't done so, um, do so today. Go to our website, cabarrusguy.us. Click the um, newsletter sign up which is on the top right of any page there um put in your email address you'll be set to go um getting all the information we talk about on the show with all the um links and phone numbers and addresses right there at your fingertips so you can plan your whole week and hey your whole summer um, oh, while there's so many events going on this summer so do that today and if you have family and friends that don't have time warner cable can't watch us on channel 22 or if you just want to watch our programs on demand just go to our web address cabarrascounty.us and uh, right there just kind of scroll down to the, on the home page in the lower left there's you'll see a little video screen you can watch what's the video that's playing there or right below it it says more channel 22 programming just click on that but boom up comes the full page got all the different all the different things we're doing like with the parades and all that we've got the Harrisburg 4th of July parade coming up yeah. it'll be on July the 2nd coming up real soon so that'll be on there and uh, all kinds of great things and I tell you what if you haven't been to the library here in Concord I mean, this is this is very very yeah. nice. It is it's it, so it is so exciting. Yeah, it's very spacious yeah. and it's very comfortable here. So I tell you what, you got a whole week's worth of activities to do. So go and enjoy them. And until next week, have a great. Day.